The International Wrestling Federation, also known as Killer Kowalski's All-Stars, was a professional wrestling promotion that held events in the northeastern United States from 1979 to 1996 when it was run by Killer Kowalski. The promotion was based in Reading, Massachusetts with offices in Burlington, Vermont. It operated in conjunction with Kowalski's famed wrestling school in Malden, Massachusetts. It was 1977 in Massachusetts. While the Boston Bruins were swept in four games straight by the defending Stanley Cup champions, the Montreal Canadiens, Ram Jam's controversial cover of Black Betty topped the U.S. charts for 18 weeks. The Dover Demon was reportedly sighted in the town of Dover, Massachusetts. And Killer Kowalski formed the Killer Kowalski Institute for Professional Wrestling in Malden, Massachusetts. The International Wrestling Federation was formed in 1979 by Killer Kowalski two years after he started his wrestling school. According to former student John Callahan, Kowalski decided to form his own group after an argument with Angelo Savoldi at the Boston Garden. The first championship titles were introduced in 1982, with Kowalski and the Executioners being billed as the first IWF heavyweight and tag team champions. That same year, the IWF began airing a Sunday morning show, Bedlam from Boston, on WXNE-TV Channel 25. During this period, Kowalski partnered with Dominic DiNucci and Bruno Sammartino's international wrestling group based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Kowalski initially promoted shows in the greater Boston area, but eventually toured throughout the northeastern United States. IWF event tours also included high school gyms and fairs in cities throughout New England. Some of the promotion's regular towns included Andover, Bellingham, Grafton, Middleborough, Norwood, Waltham, and Westford, Massachusetts. Kowalski was able to promote IWF shows via his weekly column, Killer's Corner, for the Boston Sunday Herald. The IWF relocated to Burlington, Vermont in the early 1990s, but returned to the Boston area in November 2001. The IWF featured many former Worldwide Wrestling Federation stars during its early years, including Dominic DiNucci, Larry Zbysko, the Haiti Kid, and the Valiant Brothers. Bill Curry was the main heel manager before his death. Larry Zbysko's infamous WWF feud with Bruno Sammartino spilled over into the IWF as he battled his former mentor's real-life son, Bruno Sammartino Jr., in late 1982. Kowalski continued bringing in talent from the World Wrestling Federation when Vince McMahon Jr. took over his father's promotion in the 1980s. The promotion showcased a number of wrestlers who were regulars in the Northeast wrestling scene and was the birthplace of Paul Levesque, Perry Saturn, and China. Paul Levesque, who graduated from Kowalski's school at the top of his class, made his IWF debut in March 1992, defeating Tony Roy. Two months later, he won the organization's heavyweight title from Mad Dog Richard. Saturn, billed as the Iron Horseman, won the IWF North American and Light Heavyweight Championship during the early 1990s. He also won the IWF Tag Team Championship with Paul Levesque. Saturn met his future tag team partner, John Cronus, while working for the IWF and helped enroll him in Kowalski's wrestling school. China won the IWF Ladies Championship from the Violent Flame in the mid-1990s. Ron Reese and the Renegade as Lord of the Jungle found success in World Championship Wrestling. Kowalski had a strong relationship with both Vince McMahon Sr. and his son Vince McMahon Jr. His students regularly appeared on World Wrestling Federation television as preliminary wrestlers during the 1980s and 1990s. His best known students, Triple H, China, and Perry Saturn, had prominent roles in the company during the Attitude Era. The IWF later featured former WWF stars Demolition Axe, King Kong Bundy, Hercules, the Honky Tonk Man, the Mountie, Jake the Snake Roberts, Jimmy Snuka, and Nikolai Volkov. In December 1992, following his controversial departure from the WWF, the Ultimate Warrior appeared under his old ring name Dingo Warrior and wrestled Hercules at an IWF event. The current WWF stars such as Adam Baum, Bob Backlund, Doink the Clown, King Kong Bundy, and Hakushi 
occasionally appeared at IWF events in the mid-1990s. The IWF stopped holding regular shows after 1996, though Kowalski continued promoting under the Killer Kowalski's All-Stars banner for a few more years. In November 2001, the IWF took part in Headlocks for Humanity, an American Red Cross benefit show for victims of the September 11th attacks, with Slick Wagner Brown and Cue Ball representing the promotion. One of the IWF's last shows was held in Sutton, New Hampshire on November 2, 2002. Finally in 2003, health issues forced Kowalski to withdraw from both promoting and the wrestling school. Following his death in 2008, the Kowalski estate auctioned off the IWF correspondence and other wrestling memorabilia from his career. That was the untold story of the International Wrestling Federation.